Hey, it's been a while since I've seen you around. How's it going? How have you been doing lately? You never call. You never talk. And, of course, you never text. So, how on earth was I to just magically read your mind or something and know how you were doing? Huh? Answer me that. <laughs> I'm glad you finally got around to calling me. I must admit that I was pretty worried. You just went c -c -c completely off the g grid. You have absolutely Absolutely no idea how much fear that sent all down and out throughout my body. It sent, you know, like, like shivers down my like spine, and I don't even know. I was just so nervous. So, I'm glad you finally reached back out to me again. You have no idea how much it means to me that you decided to talk things out with me. I know that things have been a bit rough lately in your life, but I I know it wasn't my fault, and I know it wasn't your fault, so I'm not blaming you. But still, next time, can you please at least give me a warning? I'd really appreciate that. Finally, you're back. Uh, it feels like it's been forever. How long has it been? A couple days? Maybe a week? Or maybe even two? Anyways, it really hasn't been that long as a whole, but it felt like it to me. You know how much you mean to me. So when you just go off the grid, and go offline, and don't answer your phone, it just causes me to worry more and more about you. That's all it does. It just makes me worry. And I don't really like worrying about people. <laughs> I'm not a tsundere or, you know, anything like that. I just don't really like the feeling I get when I have to constantly worry about people. It makes me feel like a mom. <laughs> I'm not a mom, and I never really planned to be, but that's okay. Because being the mom friend, I, I guess it's alright. I mean, I don't really like it, but it's whatever. <laughs> it's whatever. <laughs> so how you doing now? You obviously reached out to me, so you're clearly doing better. Oh, that's good. I'm glad to hear that you're doing better. I know you probably got a couple things still on your plate, still bothering you a bit, and I'm happy to hear them. Do you maybe want to talk about it? Alright. Tell me what they are. I'm here for you. Oh. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's rough. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, oh, wow. Hmm. Oh, that's rough. Are you sure you're holding up okay after all that? I don't really believe you, but I don't really want to be the overbearing mama bear, so I guess I'll leave you alone for now, but I am here if you want to talk, you know. Forever and always. Together forever. Besties forever. You know how it is. Between the two of us, we've been 
inseparable. For years now, besties and westies, forever and ever, together forever, besties, oh westies, da 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 dever, uh, rap, 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 going into a rap, besties, a besties, forever and ever, yeah, 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 yeah. Ugh, come on, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> right, maybe it was. Oh, I'll hush it, you silly. <laughs> I bet you're kind of glad that you, uh, you know, called me now, aren't you? Yeah. I'm glad you called me, too. It's been a while since we last talked, so I'm glad to hear that you're doing better. I'm glad to talk with you again. Make sure you, uh, call me again if anything's ever bothering you again, alright? I gotta go now. My mom's calling me. I gotta go eat supper now. But, thank you so much for calling me. Make sure you call me again if anything's bothering you in the future, alright? Alright. Bye-bye.